Hello everyone, I am Sekandar Aburaki. Please welcome to my Laravel 5.4 basic tutorial series. Today I am going to show you the routing feature of Laravel. Here I have opened my project folder into Sublime Text Editor. I am going to start the development server of Laravel by using php artisan serve. At the same time, I am going to start Laravel server here. I am going to text editor within the routes folder and web.php file. Here we can set our basic routes. So we know the routes are the feature that provides us the facilities to move from one page to another in an application. Okay, the first route I am going to write get. Basically, route is composed of two components, two parameters. One is URL and another is callback. So, basically, we need these two parameters. Here, we can give the route within a quotation and we can call the anonymous function, callback function, and we can return. A string from there and we can see instead of showing the welcome page and okay okay and this is the thing by this way we can show our content into the page so if I write a route like hello and I'll have to write the URL here hello then I can show it here but this is one thing and I can use the route in another way. I'm copying it. Instead of using the anonymous function, I can use it here. Controller, some controller. If I use the route in this way, in that case, it will point to the controller. Okay, this is another way. And we can use the route with the name. That means name route. If I write here user slash profile and we can make a name route with a name profile later on we can use this profile to create the url and to route into this method okay so these are the things that we can use with the route and we can also use the route when we will use the resource controller for example, employee. In this way, we can use the route. It will cover all the HTTP verse, update and delete. This is another way of using the route. We can also use the route for different HTTP verse, like route one we have used as a gate. We can use post, test, return, post. So we can use the route for update by using put method and we can also use the route for delete for delete method so these are the basic things of cred operation so we can use the route in different http verbs whenever necessary okay now i am going to show how to use the route parameter so here i am getting the route but if i need something like this user slash name and i would like to give the name and instead of hard code i want to add it here after the user i am adding some parameter here and here also if i go user sikandar we're getting hello sikandar if i write here rakib we'll get rakib so increasing it a bit the text by using a h1 tag okay if i want to show another parameter like id so i can add it here i can write l2 dollar plus okay don't need it okay if i write kamal slash eight hello kamal and your id is equal to eight okay this is all about the router feature in laravel so when we will create a project so it will be more clear for us for this moment this much about the 
router feature in Laravel. I hope this tutorial will be informative for you. If you have any question, please leave it into the comment. And thank you for watching the video.